no mask today because there's nobody around. I'm only here by my neighborhood and I'm sitting by a nice little stream and I'm wearing shorts. It's November and it's 75 degrees outside. It's crazy. Today, I'm taking a look at your answers. I asked you recently, what's your favorite NativeScript plugin? And you commented. So let's take a look. Here we are on the community tab on my YouTube channel. Let's see what we got here. Pablo Pereira says, NativeScript Firebase plugin. I have a feeling this is gonna be one of the more popular ones out there. NativeScript Firebase has been around for quite a while now and Eddie has done an amazing job with that plugin. It's just one of those plugins that does so much and so well. It interfaces with the native SDKs for Firebase and it's very useful. Live syncing, database, crash lytics, authentication, authorization, everything is in there and built into one plugin. I'd say if you are gonna use a plugin in NativeScript, that's probably one of my favorites too. All right, Ed Jones says, I think you'd have to go with a NativeScript YouTube player. Um, not familiar with that plugin. I'll have to look into it. Thanks for that one, Ed. Avi Hari says, plugin master Eddie. Yes, Eddie, I just mentioned him, Eddie Verbruggen from the Netherlands. He's the one that created the NativeScript Firebase plugin, as well as a ton of other NativeScript plugins. He's also one of the authors on nativescripting.com. He co-authored with me the course going from Cordova to NativeScript, and that course is free, by the way. So if you are going from Cordova to NativeScript land and you're checking out what's going on with all the different modern frameworks, then check out that course. It's free. Pablo Guterres says NativeScript OAuth 2. Thanks for that, Pablo, I appreciate that. I hope that's a useful plugin. It's a plugin I created about two years ago and it's been trying to keep up with the times, let's say. I do have not too much time to invest into development of it, so I'm looking for folks to help me out with taking that on. It is up to date with NativeScript 7, but it could use a little help making it more robust. Johan Drott says Firebase and the Community Material plugin. Firebase we already talked about, and the Community Material plugin is a set of UI components that mimic material design in NativeScript. This is a plugin that Martin Guillon created. He's now one of the contributors to NativeScript. What's going on up there? I'm sitting in my neighborhood under the bridge, you can tell, and there's people crossing the bridge all the time making all sorts of noises. All right, here we go. Let's keep going. Avi Hari again. Avi Hari says, NativeScript AWS image upload by TriniWiz. So that sounds like a very useful plugin, uploading images. I haven't tried this one myself. If anybody has tried it, let me know down below in the comments and maybe we'll do a tutorial on that here if enough people comment on it. Again, Avi Hari. Thanks a lot for all your input. NativeScript AWS image upload. Got it, thanks. Alejandro Candamil says NativeScript in-app browser. Yes, this is a very cool feature, plugin I should say, because there is a built-in way to host a browser in NativeScript, but this one is actually much better because it uses a different set of native components underneath the hood that are more robust. And um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty nice one. I've actually used this on a project myself. Richard Vink, welcome back, says Firebase. Yes, Firebase is pretty awesome. Thanks for that input. And Dean Gron says barcode scanner. Barcode scanner is one of those, I believe it's also an Eddie Verbruggen plugin, if I'm not mistaken, but that's another one of those that's really useful. You need to interact with your application sometimes to scan things with your device. QR code, barcodes, other things in the physical world. I wonder if there's a LiDAR plugin yet. Maybe not, but of course, NativeScript will allow you to talk directly to native APIs. So if you want to use the LiDAR, you can. And it would make sense to have a plugin that does that as well. Not sure if there is one yet or not. Something worth checking out. Anyway, thanks folks for your comments. Let me know down in the comments below if you do have more favorite plugins that I did not mention. Just share with folks what your thoughts are on that. And if you're not subscribed yet to the channel, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out quite a bit. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.